Hi guys, I'm back with another favorites video and at the end of this one I'm going to show you a couple of the empties that I've went through this month. Um, instead of making a whole separate video just about the products that I've used up, um, I'm just going to show you the couple of ones that I've used up this month and if I like them or not. So the first product that I have for my favorites is this City Lips Lip Plumper Lip Gloss. I don't have the package anymore but just let me say my lips are super small and anything that says lip plumping or anything like that to make your lips fuller I instantly like want to try it even though in my head I know that none of them work I just tried so many and I just haven't liked any of them I just feel like nothing works but and with that being said I'm not going to turn around and say oh my god this is a miracle product and it works awesome but I do think I like this one better than any of the other ones that I've tried. It has no smell, which I like, and it does not irritate my lips at all. It has no tingling feeling. Um, normally I feel like if my lips are tingling, then something must be working. <laughs> but this has no tingling feeling. It does. It says HA plumping spears plus collagen peptides. Um, I can't say I've noticed like a huge difference like oh my god my lips are fuller but I really think it does work a little bit unless it's just in my head. I think it does actually do something. It's supposed to smooth out any fine lines and wrinkles and um, I wish I had the package so I can read like everything that it does but this, is, this one's just in clear. Um, without even having to ask my fiance he actually said that he can notice a difference in my lips so I didn't even have to ask him so I actually think it does work so I've been using it every day since I got it and I really like it it's just a normal lip gloss it's not sticky it said it does say to wait a couple of minutes before you apply your lipstick because it does have to like dry on there a little bit but another thing that I do like about it is I find that I've said it I've said it a lot that I have dry lips um and I find that it makes my it keeps my lips moisturized for a really long time. So I'm definitely liking this and I'll put the link below to where you can get it at. And then I have a Lush product, which is actually my very first Lush product that I've ever tried, is the mask of Magna Minty. It's a face and body mask. And the only reason I bought this, I don't really buy a lot of Lush products. I just don't really ever pay attention to them. I see a lot of people talking about them. But I took a trip to Vegas and they have their own store so I decided to go in and see what they had. And I wanted a mask but they didn't really have too many masks that I really liked. I think they only had a, like two or three to choose from. So I got this one and I have to say like I think the prices there were kind of high for all their stuff. For all their products I found it to be really high so I don't think I'll be buying a lot of Lush products but I did actually like this one it's this like green like paste type mask it makes it just makes my skin feel really refreshed after I don't know what it has in it I don't know if it says but it has some kind of it has something some kind of texture in it I don't know if you can see it which I do like um, it just makes my skin feel really refreshed after but for the price that you pay for this small thing, I just think it's definitely worth it to get something else. Uh, another one that I have that is very, very comparable is this Mint Julep Mask. I've talked about it before. They are almost, I mean they're even the same color, but they're almost, they almost feel identical except that the Mint Julep Mask doesn't have any, any, texture to it. It's very smooth and that's it and that is why I think I like this mask, the Lush mask, just a little bit more because I do like the texture because when you're putting it on your face you can kind of like exfoliate it a little bit. So that's the only thing that I like better about this but if you're on a budget this is almost exactly the same and it's like I don't know five dollars at Target or Walmart but they're they're very comparable. So And the next thing I have are these Sally Girl nail polishes. I don't really buy a lot of nail polishes because I feel like they're really expensive. There's like $10 nail polishes out there and I'm just like, 
why are they so expensive? It's too much for a nail polish. I'll only really buy those if it's like a color that I'm really in love with and I know I'm going to wear over and over. But with these Sally Girl nail polishes, they're really, they're actually really good. They last really long on my nails. My nails seem to chip like a lot. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but they chip all the time. And th these little nail polishes last a really long time and their color payoff is really good. Um... And to top it off, they're only 99 cents, so it's like, you might as well. And I don't really like, if it's a color like this, I won't wear it very often, so I don't feel the need to buy, spend $10 on a nail polish that I'm rarely going to use. And these are just, I just really like these. I have them, this color, the one I'm wearing right now is, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a name. Some of them have a name, but this one doesn't have a name. But it's like this lavender color, and it's different for me, but I'm really liking it. I have like a ton of them and normally they're just like the red ones that I get but like I said I really like these they're only 99 cents and you can get them at Sally's Beauty Supply another face product that I have is I don't know how to pronounce it but it's Le of You Cosmetics I think it's it's a foaming facial cleanser and I have been in love with this I normally use proactive and I just find that it's really expensive I've been using it for our I don't know how many years and I'm just trying to get myself off of it and I've been using this cleanser in place of the proactive cleanser for over a month now and I haven't really noticed any difference in my skin so I'm really liking it um it definitely one of the things that I really like about it is it has a top but I don't I don't know where it's at because like I said I, I do use it um it, the smell it smells so good it smells like if it was like a baby product or something like just very powdery refreshing baby smell <laughs> it smells really good and it doesn't really foam up I, it says foaming facial cleanser but it doesn't really foam up I don't find that it foams up but I use it with my spin brush and it just works amazing I really really like it um I'll have the link below where you can get this one also and the last thing that I have is this Sigma warm neutrals palette I have been really liking this palette. I love my neutral eyeshadows, so I think this is perfect for me. Um, it comes with a bunch of different colors, and you can do tons of different looks with this. But what I like most is the color payoff of these eyeshadows. It, they are so pigmented, and they're not very chalky, which I like because most most of them are... No, there's like most... There's like three or four shimmer shadows, but the rest are matte, and matte eyeshadows can be kind of chalky sometimes. But these aren't, and I just, I just really like the color payoff that these have on them. And they're like perfect neutral colors. I really like it. And I just really like, I every Sigma product that I've tried, I fell in love with. I just really liking everything that they come out with, so... This is definitely a favorite for this month. And now the empties that I have for this month, and there's only actually three, three that I actually remember to keep so I can talk about. Um, the first one is L'Oreal's Collagen Moisture Filler Day Night Moisturizer. And that was a truck that just passed by, I'm sure you heard. Um, I used it all. I've had it for way more. I don't, I don't even know how long I've had it. It smells really good. I like the smell. I like the way it, it felt on my face. I mean, it doesn't have any, like, claims of what it does, but I really don't find that, I really didn't find that it did anything to my skin, so I really don't think I'll buy this again. I don't have anything that I specifically hate about it. Like I said, the smell's good. It felt nice on my skin. It didn't make me break out, but... I didn't really see a difference in my skin or I'm not sure what it was supposed to do. It says collagen moisture filler, so I don't know. I just I just don't really think I'll buy it again. I didn't hate it, just don't think I'll buy it again. And the next thing I have, I talk about them all the time, it's the Whitening Lightning Teeth Whitening Pen. This is another one that I went through. Um, I use these all the time to whiten my teeth. I put them on before I go to bed every night. I just brush it on and just leave it. I don't even rinse this one off. The Dial a Smile Kit I do use also. And I do obviously have to rinse that one off. But these ones are just easy. I go through these all the time. Um, I just really like them. This is the only teeth whitener that I use. And I actually use it and I think it works. And the next thing I have is this Jergens Deep Conditioning Shea Butter with Oatmeal Moisturizer. And it looks like this. And as you can see, I used all of this sucker because that's how much I liked it. 
Um, I just use this all over my body and it makes my skin feel super soft. It's not greasy, which I liked, and it smells really good. Um, I've tried another one of these. I went to Walmart like two weeks ago to look for this one again and they didn't have it. So I tried another Jergens one that was in the little tub like this and I'm not really liking it. So I need to find this one again, but I will definitely buy this again. I liked it. It says, helps repair extra dry skin, leaving it nourished and radiant. And it's fast absorbing, non-greasy, long lasting. I definitely liked it. I think it worked good. So that's it for my favorites and empties this month. Everything that I listed will be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually on the hunt for a good hairspray. If you guys know of one that works, that you love, um, please list it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.